Winter's coming on, you may be wondering if your quail will continue to lay eggs during the cold weather. Well, that's the topic of today's video, and that's coming up next. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how the cold weather affects your quail, and specifically the egg production of your quail. Will they continue to lay eggs during the cold weather? Weather. Let me start off by saying, um, if you're familiar with this channel, you may notice I sound a little different than normal. I've got a little bit of a cold or something, and it's just really affecting my voice. Don't really feel all that bad, but um, having a hard time talking. But I still thought I wanted to get this video out for you guys, so hopefully you appreciate that. <laughs> and um, let's get right into the topic. All right, so. It is uh, coming up on winter time here. We've had our first cold front move through. We had a hard freeze two days ago where it got down to about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So it got pretty cold. And before that, it was in the 60s and 70s. Uh, nighttime lows were getting down in the low 50s, a couple of nights in the 40s. Um, really nothing changed with the egg production until that hard freeze came through. When that hard freeze came through, eggs really slowed down for about two days and then they picked back up. So to answer the question, yes, your quail will continue to lay eggs during cold weather if all the other conditions are right. If they have enough light, 14 hours a day of light. But when you get that first, that sudden change, that first cold front that moves through, that can throw them off for a couple of days. It's just like any other kind of stress factor. If you move your quail from one place to another, they tend to stop laying eggs for about a week. If you um, have a predator problem where something's coming up and really stressing your birds out, they tend to stop laying eggs for a couple of days. Same thing with a cold front that comes through. When it first hits, it's going to kind of stress the birds out just a little bit, and they will stop laying eggs, or not really stop, but slow down laying eggs for the first day, maybe two days, and then they kind of get into the rhythm, they pick right back up and start laying eggs again normal. Just to give you an idea, the, the day after the, um, the hard freeze came through, I had normal egg production. The day after that, it dropped significantly. I usually get somewhere around 50 15 eggs a day out of uh, my two hutches here and it dropped down and I only got for two days I only got about six eggs total out of the two hutches and then today I come out and this was you know two days ago was when our hard freeze came through the last two days was low egg production today when I came out and collected eggs I was back up to 15 eggs and I expect it's going to be that way again tomorrow really it's just that stress factor when it first stresses them out that they really kind of slow down for a little bit but they recover pretty quickly. They start laying eggs right back away. And if you're wondering how the cold weather in general affects the birds, these guys are pretty cold hardy. As long as you give them a windbreak, and if you've seen my hutches before, you can see there's a closed off section there. Hopefully you can see that on film. Um, and you can see there's a little uh, doorway where they can go into that side right there, and it's all closed off. There's a pan in there that they can get on so they don't have wind coming up from the bottom or the sides. You know, some of them use it quite a bit. They lay most of their eggs in there. But most of the time, honestly, they just hang out out here in the open section. Even when the cold front's coming through, even at night, they don't tend to go into that little section that often. But give them that option, something where they can uh, get out of the wind, and they're going to be just fine. Um, they, they really handle the cold pretty well. The hardest part is uh, making sure that they have water because the watering system freezes up and they won't be able to get water out of it. Now, it was a hard freeze that came through, but things are warming back up. We're not quite into the dead of winter where it stays frozen for a long period of time. So I didn't bother taking the uh, watering system down. They're fine to go without water for you know a couple of hours until the uh, until it thaws out in the day and then the water starts flowing again and so far no problems whatsoever these guys are handling all this just fine you can't see my other hutch there but they're still going through the breeding motions the roosters are still crowing so you know the cold doesn't really affect them that much so anyway hopefully that clears a few things up for you guys sorry about the voice a little strain today I'm doing my best to get you some information out there anyway and not skip a week on videos and uh I don't know. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see something else addressed, let me know below. Hopefully, I'll be able to speak a little bit clearer on the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, as always, God bless.